all Gary Nasai Minasan. Today we are back at TV Asahi website to look at Kamen Rider Glare. We have the usual all the points to talk about all the different parts of his body and then we are gonna go more in depth into the helmet and also the belt itself so let us start with number one the glare mask i think this is very straightforward we are gonna take a closer look later let me move on to the division armor so this is the armor of Kamen Rider glare due to unknown material called meta material it has the hardness that exceeds that of diamond and also has excellent toughness repelling all kinds of impact. So this is really interesting because they are introducing a new material like kind of a like meta material. So this could actually be their way of telling us or giving us a little bit of hint of how technologically advanced that the dgp actually is the ability to just travel around the world the ability to just change dimension and all the stuff seems really really extreme okay like i think the only other kamen rider series that the rider actually changed location freely is kamen rider xz so this is really really interesting to actually see it happening the next thing is the deflect suit a suit type a suit type combat power enhancement device by supplying energy from the transformation belt vision driver it has the function of dramatically improving the physical ability of the transforming person and outputting it this is really good because we know for a fact that Gilori is not really like a fighter and him able to just pick up Pang Jet in episode 14 is all thanks to this suit itself okay so really crazy stuff in addition it boasts impenetrable defense power by deploying electromagnetic deflection shield circle deflector from the circular deflect pits arranged throughout its entire throughout its body itself so the the way how this suit is being like being a defensive so it's all due to the helmet that he has actually on himself but i will say this is actually a weakness okay because when he needs to control or should i say when he needs to hack another rider he would need to sacrifice one of his deflect pits to hack another rider and leaving himself vulnerable so if he himself is not able to like fight other enemy or when like the the other the other hack rider is being subdued like he is gonna be very very vulnerable okay very interesting stuff and next thing is the vision driver this is the transformation belt for common later glare it, okay so by supplying a huge amount of energy and deploying various equipment it give power to that to surpass Kamen Riders who have entered the desired Grand Prix very amazing we are gonna take a closer look at the driver later let me move on to the leg the Kamen Rider glare ties activates a special move by converging the energy supplied from the belt at the tip of the foot okay so this is just typical leg stuff Optima Legus, okay, so we actually get, I think we got a little bit of defensive stuff here. Demonstrate the power to overwhelm, overwhelm the players of DGP by strengthening kicking power and jumping power, okay. So the very, very de simple stuff. In addition, by deploying circle deflectors on the shore of its foot, it creates a foothold in the air and secure an advantageous standing position so goddamn Kamen Rider Glare can fly okay he can, he can do the standing mid-air thing kind of like what the Shinigami in Bleach does and also what other anime does this like oh yeah the in in one piece okay like you know like the skywalk something like that so this that is something really really amazing the next thing is Hypnolia we are not sure what is this but Kamen Rider control device okay this is the thing that he is gonna use to control people a part of the armor division armor is separated and is it is put under the control by forcibly attaching it to the target's head so we are not sure how many target it can control at a single time but i would assume like maybe like maximum two to three 
rider because if it can control like up to 10 riders that is gonna be crazy okay the next thing is Kamen Rider Glass Arm by supplying energy by transform uh, blah 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 okay so it can leave the wet without any feeling the wet at all like this is what we see for to, to towards punk jet okay so amazing stuff optima manipulator okay so we got the glove strengthening his punch power grip strength and demonstrate the power to overwhelm players of the dgp in addition a debuff program holy shit he can actually debuff the rider a debuff program can be applied to the target at the moment of impact to adjust the relative power balance holy shit this is legit the rider of a game master okay like you don't mess with the game master this like he, this is putting Kuroto Dan to shame okay because Kuroto Dan is he himself is the game master of the game in Kamen Rider XZ but he got his ass beaten by his own game every single time but Gilori learned from the mistake of Kuroto Dan and made himself way too OP, man. Like, there's definitely gonna be a weakness here somewhere, but here is the nine facts of the suit of Kamen Rider Galea. Really, really amazing stuff. So, if we actually take a closer look at the design of Kamen Rider Galea, we see one, one helmet here, one division armor, and at, at two division armor for the shoulder piece one at the center piece and two on the knee knee pad something like that so i will say maximum rider that he can control at once is gonna be five riders okay but is that gonna leave him vulnerable i don't think so okay because he still got this my mini mini patches for him to to protect himself with so the next thing that we're gonna take a look at is the helmet itself again okay? the mask of glare so first of all we got the antenna the glare antenna dimensional observer wow the word is so extreme it performs dimensional observation within an observation observational range with a radius of 30 kilometer acquires detailed information about the surrounding environments and object and has the role of sending it to the visual device glare vision or glare vision okay so the second thing is glare vision this is the thing that the antenna receive uh the the the, the thing that received the the image from the antenna by displaying high dimensional image process process in real time from camera on various part of the body yeah this camera on the body like we didn't actually read this in the body portion of the video but it is okay and on on the body on the internal hemispheric monitor the real world and the virtual world can be seamlessly overlooked okay so i'm not sure what this means but I would say like he can basically he use AR for his vision something like that so we got the glare crush the oral cavity it has the function of preventing the intrusion of toxic substances and maintaining the respiration of transforming person making it possible to take out oxygen in the air and breathe for a short time in an oxygen free environment so he can breathe underwater and he can breathe in space so for a short amount of time very op dimensional signal detection device for coming right the glare by constantly monitoring the state of space time what the shit it detects event that interferes with the stable operation of coming rider such as fluctuation in space time this is crazy and issues warning at that time transformation cancellation oh transformation cancellation may be executed what huh what what so what does this mean it's like the text event that interferes with stable operation of Kamen riders such fluctuation in time space space time and issue warnings i i don't get it does this mean that this is a weakness is this a weakness like if you interfere with his transformation that he the, the transformation will be easily cancelled 
or he can actually cancel the transformation of another rider. I am not so sure what this means, okay? But if you know, if you understand, if your English is better than mine, feel free to educate me in the comment section below. And then we got number five, Kamen Rider Gilea head device. It has the role of expanding the head function of, tra of the transforming person and is made of unknown armor material called meta material okay okay so we already read this it is super super opd op opd strong and all those stuff so very amazing stuff that we actually get to see here the most interesting is number four dimension signal we are not sure what this means like space time shit but amazing amazing stuff the next thing we're gonna look at is the bell okay the bell is definitely the most interesting part of the video itself because they they are hinting at us for a possible power up of the driver of Kamen Rider Glare. So let me start with number one, charge up line. So this is kind of like the visual, the, the, the driver band, something like that. So deploy at the same time as the driver is set. It is fixed at the well, blah, blah, blah. Okay, high flexibility, intense, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we know this. The next thing is biometrics. We also know this. It lock in by specifying the transformation person by fingerprint auto authentication in addition re re authentication is required when special functions are activated so you need to confirm to activate your final attack something like that so providence card holder this is really interesting because arrange on the right side of division driver you can set one type one card type special storage device providence card okay so i would say the providence card are the card that will be that that will be used by other sponsors or other game masters in the game itself and what we see so far is the glare version of the rider itself but i would say there has to be some other providence card out there maybe in future v movie or maybe in the future art we're gonna see some other rider using the vision driver and using a different card to henshin okay very amazing stuff the next thing is the vision leader the i would say this is reader not leader okay vision reader vision driver card reader yeah by reading the card type special storage device Pro providence card and performing high dimensional customization according to the user authority it is possible to transform into a Kamen Rider with various characteristics so Gilori purposefully uses Glare because it has the ability to mind control other rider to take control of other rider but I will assume there are some like whatever you want the the driver and using the specific card you are able to achieve that okay so that is really really amazing next thing is vision reactor vision driver degeneracy furnace what the hell is that okay so it extracts dark matter from a pseudo black hole that maintains uniformity in an internal minimal state and converts it into clean energy this is this is crazy man black hole you're, you're telling me the dgp has the technology to control a black hole what the shit are you talking about <laughs> in addition a conceptual model showing the operation operating state of the furnace is displayed at the front okay so this is this doesn't make sense okay next thing is upgrade assemble like I said, the Vision Driver have an expansion slot so we can actually see an upgrade to Kamen Rider Glare or even some other random stuff. Upgrade the Kamen Rider by pulling out the function of the various rice buckle that has been set. Interesting, so he can use rice buckle as well. But instead of scanning the rice buckle, he need to push Put it in the left hand side of the belt itself in addition it is also possible to deploy extended armament to the Kamen Rider under the control by remote controlling oh shit so he can actually power up the mind control rider by giving the rice buckle by remote control this is OP man and then we got the providence card itself a card type special storage device despite being ex 
extremely thin. It boasts a storage capacity of 3 zettabyte for storing customized data for the Vision driver and an ultra high data transfer speed of approximately 0.03 seconds. So this is the bell and we can re this is really interesting because I really did not expect that this bell is capable of accessing the power of the rice buckle also but it makes sense it makes total sense that the the belt of the game master obviously is gonna be different from the desire driver and also having the ability to access the rice buckle power itself so this is a closer and in-depth look of common rider glare really really interesting stuff we learned quite a lot of new stuff here that i'm i really did not expect to learn but this could also means that this belt since it is so op Gilory himself is not much of a fighter okay like he i was i would assume like he is definitely not much of a fighter and, and therefore he could actually be beaten quite easily if he is taken by surprise or if he is not ready to fight or or whatever gimmick that he have has been cancelled right in front of him okay so that is all from me in this video hope you enjoy what you see here if you like what you see make sure to hand in that red button into a silver one and i'll be seeing you guys in the next one goodbye